We are going to be looking at existing work that students have already been kind of working on, whether it's new or it's something that's established. And we're also going to be doing exercises in which to get in the mindset and heart space of the ages of the protagonists in your books. Um, so that being said, how do I get into an eight-year-old uh, voice? How do I get into a 16-year-old's headspace? How do I get into a 10-year-old's um, spunk? How do I get into a 13-year-old's um, sense of self? So we're going to be doing a lot of exercises that are working on sense memory, that are fun, that are nostalgic, and that also can be uh, applied to more timely issues of today. It's just great to also come of age with the characters you're writing. So even if the character you're writing is eight, nine, 10, and you are 95 or 25, um, there are things you can find from mining that age group that um, will surprise you and will, will come across on the page. Basically, you're setting up a reader for life, which is a great responsibility. So you're hoping and encouraging that what you write is something kids want to read so that then they're like, yeah, that book, I did it and I had fun or it wasn't for me, but I got something out of it. What's the next book? And really you're setting up readers for life. So it's a huge responsibility to uh, make sure you have a fun, engaging and, um, and compelling story that kids wanna read.